Hello everybody. Today we are going to repair a Samsung Galaxy Tab T560. As you can see, the tablet consumes 470 milliampers, But it does not show anything on screen. Let's remove the back cover of the tablet to get to the board. The customer brings the tablet to us because the other repair shop was not able to fix his tablet. The customer told us that he took the tablet to the other repair shop because the tablet was not showing image. But he could hear sounds when he touched the tablet. We can see that the flexible cable that connects the headphone jack is missing and something is missing in the battery connector. Using a multimeter we measure the charge of the battery. We measured 3.2 volts. The battery needs to be at 3.7 volts minimum to turn on the tablet. Let's use a bench power supply to charge the battery. Set it to 5 volts and 2 amperes, this way we charge the battery much faster. After about 10 minutes, we measure the charge on the battery. We can see that the battery is charged 3.7 volts. Let's use a tweezer to hold the flexible cable, this facilitates the process of inserting it into the connector. Let's try to turn on the tablet. The tablet did not turn on. No vibration, no sound. Let's measure the battery charge. Weird, the battery only has 3.6 volts. As we are going to connect the bench power supply directly to the battery connector, we set the bench power supply to 4.2 volts which is the maximum charge of a lithium battery. With this settings we avoid damaging the tablet due to over voltage. We put the black probe on ground and the red probe on the positive pins of the battery connector. Let's try with a charger. The screen should show something when it is charging, even if it is not turned on. But it shows nothing. Let's follow the procedure of the service manual to check problems related to LCD. The service manual recommends checking the flexible screen connector. Let's make a visual inspection. Let's measure some voltages. There should be 3.3 volts in pins 32, 33 and 34. But there is nothing. The next step is to check the voltage on capacitor C712.
there is nothing, if we observe carefully, we can see that the inductor 701 lira is missing. We have a Samsung tablet model T561 that no longer works, from that tablet we are going to take out the inductor. Let's apply some flux. Let's turn the tablet to a position that it is easier for us to remove the inductor. We use a hot air station at 390 degrees Celsius. Let's change the tip of the soldering iron to the smallest tip that we have. Let's apply some flux. With the Hakko soldering station and a small chisel tip, we add a little bit of leaded solder to the pads. This solder melts at a lower temperature, therefore we do not have to use so much heat and avoid damaging any nearby components. Let's add some flux. Set the hot air station to 345 degrees Celsius. Let the board cool a little. In the description of the video you will find the links of all the tools and equipment used in this repair.
clean with isopropyl alcohol. Let's turn on the tablet. We can already see image in the tablet. Like the video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and activate the bell to get notifications. Thank you and see you on the next video.